think makes a, a really clear paper is a paper where the message is clear. And so to try to achieve that, what I try to do is to first define very clearly what is the message and why is it important, and then define which are the results uh, or the analysis that support that. Once I've defined that, which will be the skeleton of, of the paper, I then uh, define what are the main figures and everything else that has been done is probably have to end up in the supplementary info. Um, the key to get it done is, is think about long term about the story. What are the key points that you want to get your audience out of the paper? And how do you kind of present that in a way? Once you have the story and the principle of your paper, you go forward and design kind of a bullet point, very rough idea what steps need to be done to come to that conclusion that you want to bring to the audience. And once you have this very rough idea, you fill in more and more bullet points and the smaller bullet points describe in a little more detail every time what is necessary to bring home this point. Once you have this very uh, fine-grained bullet points and you convert these bullet points basically into paragraphs like 10, 15 sentences to tra transfer the message to the audience. Uh, one of the hardest parts uh, is actually getting started with the writing process itself. So you have lots of ideas flowing around in your head but uh, getting them down onto paper is really, really difficult. So generally, uh, the way to start is to start with bullet points of the major findings. And uh, they don't have to be in the right order or even the right importance yet, but just to get those bullet points down onto paper. And then you can think of them as sort of <clears throat> the, the seeds or the crystals that have to grow as you expand to turn them into phrases and eventually sentences. Uh, and then I guess you have to stand uh, back from the whole thing and uh, check that it actually makes sense still and that the order makes sense uh, before you finally get to the polishing stage. And it's a really useful uh, uh, tip is to use the table of contents in Word or in uh, Google Doc. So you make all your headings and all your sections um, into the table of contents so that you can see on one page the whole structure of the manuscript as you're trying to write it so that uh, you don't uh, get big sections that end up ballooning way of oversized uh, and you can keep everything uh, in perspective. Think about figures. What do you have to display in which figure? What makes sense? And the best figures is always like that they promote not just one point that you want to give but multiple points to give. So it always has to be like a wow factor, you know. You can have, you can have crazy good results for, for example, a computational method, but all is worth nothing if you cannot transfer the message that you want to transfer. I think the first thing is like to spend a lot of time on the figures. Maybe like other PIs actually don't do the same thing, I don't know. But uh, having nice figures for me is key because you've got so many people, and I'm sure you're part of it, when you go through quickly a paper, you actually look at the figures and the legend and you try to guess like most of the content of the paper from the figures. So I think like... Well, I can suggest you never underestimate the importance of figures. Start writing your paper from a figure. Each figure is a concept and the whole set of figures should tell the whole story. And make really nice figures because that makes your life easier with reviewers. So one thing that I have found quite useful over the years is really to um, share my, my draft or the first draft of my paper with as many people as uh, as possible and pre preferentially people that have relatively uh, different uh, backgrounds. And the reason why I think this is useful is that sometimes by giving the paper to people that might not have exactly the same background, this allows you to spot uh, some of the gaps uh, in the structure or in the logic uh, of your manuscript. One thing that might be relatively disheartening is that the first draft of your paper will, regardless of how well you write, is going to be horrible. So what I try to do is to edit and re-edit and re-edit and uh, try to give myself time to uh, sleep and uh, do other things in between because I, actually that allows you to kind of go with your, to the text with a much clearer idea of what exactly needs to be changed. So don't get uh, disappointed if really you don't produce a masterpiece uh, in the first uh, couple of drafts. <laughs>